Hi, welcome to another episode of Practical with Selena. Today, we're going to do 2014 GCEO level practical. Before we start, there's always two steps. I call it the PE, preparation and execution. So are you ready? Let's begin preparing. Let's put the reagent to one side. And let's begin. Question number one. You are provided with two solid samples of salt cube, one in a small stopper cut glass test tube and another in a large stopper test tube. This is the large stopper test tube and this is the small stopper test tube. You are also provided with a solution R. This is solution R. Carry out the following experiment. Carefully record your observation. You should test any guesses evolved and the volume given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. Part A says, remove the stopper from the small hard glass test tube label sort cube. Heat this test tube gently at first and then strongly for about a minute. During this stage, you may observe water droplet being formed on the sides of the test tube. Well, you'll be heating later, so let's begin testing the Bunsen burner. Well, it's working perfectly. Let's put this aside and let's move on. Is go on to say, continue to heat strongly until no further changes are seen. This should take at least another minute. While heating strongly, test any gases evolved using litmus paper. And we have all the litmus paper here at the side. And together with a lighter spleen. So we have the splints here. In order for you to test for gases using litmus paper, we must always remember to use deionized water, which is actually the distilled water. Let's move on. They go on to say, remove the stopper from the large stopper test tube, label sort cube, which is this one. Add about 10 cm cube of deionized water to sample in the large glass test tube. Well, 10 cm cube, we have to measure. Approximately, this is 2 cm, and 10 cm will be 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Estimated, I draw a marking here using a whiteboard marker. So remember, to bring a whiteboard marker into the hall. And then let me put this here. And add a few drops of dilute sodium hydroxide, shaking the test tube between each addition. Sodium hydroxide is here. Let me open this up. And put this right in front. When 2 cm cube of sodium hydroxide is added, followed by two pieces of aluminium foil, usually when sodium hydroxide is added, we have to refer to the QA notes. Sodium hydroxide together with foil, you're actually testing on nitrate. A gas ammonia will be evolved. Ammonia, you will turn them red litmus paper blue. And another 2 cm cube of NaOH. So let me put this here. It goes on to say, place about 1 cm cube of Q into a clean test tube. So let me use this. 1 cm cube. And this is part C. Let me labor it. 1 cm cube is half of this. So let me put this here. Aqueous ammonia. So let me take this out. Aqueous ammonia. Let me put this here. use just only aqueous ammonia. Now, let's go back to the QA notes again. QA note says here, when you add aqueous ammonia, it's a test of cation. So, I will be able to see from the observation what cation is that, alright? Let's move on. They say here, solution R has been prepared for you by adding water to the final solid product from heating salt Q in part A. The mixture was then heated and filtered. So, this is actually my solution R. And in part D, which is this portion here, you are going to use carbon dioxide generator shown in figure 2.1 to bubble CO2 through solution R. To assemble the carbon dioxide generator, cover the marble chips with dilute hydrochloric acid and insert the bump, which is this one here, and the delivery tube. Bubbles of carbon dioxide will be produced. Part D says place about 2 cm cube of solution R. So, 2 cm cube. This is part D. 
So this is solution R. And let me put this here so that later on I'll remember. And this produces solution S. If the delivery of CO2 bubbles slow down, pour away the used acid and replace it with fresh dilute hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Remove the test tube containing solution S from the delivery tube and gently heat solution S until it starts to boil. Well, I have prepared the first portion here. The next part is supposed to do the conclusion. It says here suggests an identity for the cation end of the end ion in salt cube. Give the evidence to support each of your suggestion, cations and evidence here. And part S says consider the result of the experiment and give two further conclusion of the ions and the gases evolved. Well, I've finished preparing.